that they've now developed into the kind of like top European team like Barcelona and Real Madrid. And Hello everybody and welcome to another FIF TV video. I'm Dov, he's Vera Capretta. Hello. We are hashtag FIF at the games because we're at the games, all the games, well not all the games, but most of the games. Um, and we're here to talk about, today we're going to talk about Juventus because they're quite good. Um, best ever start to a season ever, ever, since Serie A began. Not 10 wins in 10. 10, 10 wins in 10. Um, They've beaten, well, literally they've beaten We everybody. could end this now. Yeah, so this is <laughs> 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 Juventus are amazing, right? Next. What's, What's the question? question? How, do, how do we stop them? How, do can, st how can anybody stop them? Are they beatable? Who's going to beat them? Let's, I, look, let's look at the games, right? They've, they've had three tough games. First one against Kievo. Okay, well, we're really close to getting a draw there. Well, yeah. So Frosinone, you said, lasted till 18... 83 minutes. 83 minutes, okay. And Napoli for 50 minutes. In the Napoli game. at the start were, were good, and then they just... And that's crumbled. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> On a Parma, Parma as well. Wait to Parma. Parma as well. So how do you beat Juventus now? Right, so this is the tactical masterclass from Vieri Capretta. How do you beat Juventus? So their coaches listen. Okay, well, what we've noticed <laughs> is you can either defend very well, and that's the case of Frosinone. Get everybody back. Get everyone in the, in the box. box and see what happens. Because if you, if you look at the game with Frosinone, not only um, Juve took 83 minutes to score, but they didn't have that many clear chances either beforehand. They mm -hmm. had a couple. I mean, they are Juventus. You're talking about amazing players. Yeah. But Frosinone are quite good at resisting. Um, so that's always a solution against the big teams, but you know, in that case, if you're lucky, you'll get one point. You get a point. You're, you're not going to win the game then. Very you're difficult. Gonna, you're more likely to draw. Parma? Then it, Parma and Kiev, I think both of them were quite good on the counter as well as trying their best to defend. So Kiev got everybody, had everybody behind the ball from yeah. most of that, and then got two and goals with yeah, the exactly. shots on target. And I think that links up to what. Um, I've noticed watching Juventus, and I'm sure you did too, is that they've now developed into the kind of like top European team like Barcelona and Real Madrid in recent years. Most of them, what, what they try to do is have really, really attacking full backs because you're going to spend most of the game in the opponent's half anyway. So right now, Cancelo and Alexandro, or you know, Cuadrado and, and Alexandro, talking essentially like they could be wingers. And they're played as... Well, Cancelo certainly operates pretty yeah. much as a, an, an extra... Yeah, it's, like, it's like Marcelo, it's like, uh, you know, Dani Alves, Dani Alves. Jordi Alba, the lot of them. So they're, they're like added strikers. The problem, that the weak spot could be the, the space they leave in behind. Now, they're, they're all very fast in tracking back, so it's not always an issue. Hmm. But I've seen, you know, clips of if they manage to get the ball in behind them, that Parma were quite good at that, um, uh, Napoli as well, even Udinese at points where you try and get a long ball behind there and try and get the wingers to use that space, yeah. that can be a danger for Juve. But it's difficult to do because <laughs> not very teams. And you need, you need to, to be perfect you know, in the technical way of moving the ball around, try to get it to your wingers when, of course, the, full, the Juve's fullback is up front. So you need to be as quick as possible. And yeah. And then against the Napoli for 50 minutes, high pressing game. High pressing they game. Forced you yeah. back, and for that 50 minutes, I obviously was there, and you were thinking, "Wow, this is fantastic." This, this that that performance for those 50 minutes was better than when they beat them with yeah. Sarri with Koulibaly's goal at the end of last season. They were they were they were on top. However, what I would say to kind of counteract all of that, Juventus when they needed to they step up they stepped up a gear against Napoli and they played some amazing football themselves as well and then eventually just steamrolled oh, they've got all the best players so. they can, they've got loads of different solutions they can, they can play differently against different teams which obviously different formations different ways of playing helps a lot personnel and then if, if on 70 minutes you haven't found a way to break the deadlock you've changed a couple of players bring in you know, a fresh Bernardeschi a fresh, fresh Douglas Douglas Douglas. Cause. <laughs> does make a difference so can anyone beat them? Can anyone beat them? They can be beaten. I think the, the, the biggest chance of it happening will be the away games at San Siro or San Paolo or the Olimpico. I don't think any of the smaller teams will do it, if I'm being perfectly honest. I think last season they only lost three games of the entire season. And, yeah. and one was at home to Lazio and one was away to Napoli. I think if they do progress in the Champions League, we might see them dropping some points. See, I think... Yeah, in and around the round of 16, quarterfinals. Maybe, but last season you could have said, I think this season, 
I think their second eleven is good enough to win the Scudetto. Yeah, probably. We, we, which is really worrying for the other teams. They could literally change the entire eleven, which they've not been able to do recently, and they can still win games. And I think the way that, that Allegri coaches the team and the rotation that he's already kind of put in place is that the, the players won't be tired by then, and they can play, say, Ronaldo on a game at the weekend and a game during the week, and they'll be fine. And I think that's the problem that all the other teams already had to catch Juve. And now Juve have went even further ahead and the other teams are trying to catch up to where Juve were before. And I think it's so, so difficult. And I, don't, I think they'll go the season unbeaten, if I'm being perfectly honest. There you from go, what, guys. If from, anyone from, wants to put a bet on that. <laughs> from what I've seen in the game against Napoli, they were put under pressure. The questions were asked and they just they answered them. They just said, yeah, yeah. here you go. This is what we can do. And, this, and the thing that, the thing that say worry, not say worries me, but... I think that's the most dangerous is that now they're not even at their most dangerous. They'll be, the, the, this Juve will be at its best in March and April. So that's when we'll see how good this Juventus team is now. They're, they're just kind of getting started. Oh, well, well, I mean, we're evaluating their chances of going unbeaten in Serie A, but obviously Champions League level. Could, could be a challenge for them. Yeah, but I think when... A like, challenge, not, not something they can't overcome. Yeah, but when they've seen it in recent seasons where they've maybe had a bit of a challenge, I think like around Christmas, you had Inter top of the league, Napoli there, Roma and Juventus were connected. Uh, the they're next, already six points clear. And the, yeah, they're already six points clear. And then last season, I think they went on a 26 match winning streak. And then I think a couple of years before that, where they were like 12 points behind, they just won all their games after the year. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think you'll see the same this season. They will just they could do that better. without Cristiano Ronaldo, imagine that. Well, they don't even need Ronaldo. Yeah. They've won the league, they've won the league with Alessandro Matri and Mirko Vucinic. They don't yeah. need Ronaldo. Yeah, absolutely. Serie a. Ronaldo's there to win the big games and to win the Champions League for them. And nobody can stop them. It's as simple as that. They're so much better. In every aspect, they've got a great coach, great players. The clubs run in a fantastic way. I'd be interested to see how Marotta leave and how that impacts them in terms of long term, maybe. And that might yeah. be a thing. But this season, they've literally got all the tools and a coach that knows how to use them as well. So can can they get beat? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. It'll be really, really. It'll be a shock, and it'll be a one off. I can't imagine. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. Juventus are amazing is what we've concluded in, in these seven minutes. And it's as simple as that. Um, Champions League though? Champions League, I think they, yeah, I'll rephrase Mourinho on this one. They're not the best, but no one's better than them. Because if anything, Manchester City, Bayern, Real Madrid, Barcelona, they're on the same kind of level. I wouldn't say anyone is clearly uh, more favorite than they are. Mm. So they could, they could be winning it. And I think uh, the strength they, they showed in that game in Valencia was incredible. Ten, that was the most ten, ten, ten men impressive game. Still going to win the game. We don't, need yeah. del- we don't need 11 men. We can do it with 10. So watch out because it could the, be Juventus here. Two tests. So those are the two. Napoli and Valencia. In Valencia, they played most of the game with 10 men. And in Napoli, they went behind early on and then they yeah. blew them away. Blew them away. So there you go. Juventus are great. Um, it's nothing, it's, there's nothing really you can say about them apart from that. They're just so much better. So there you go. That's what we think. Let us know what you think. Leave a comment, social media, all that stuff. Everything's in the, in the uh, description below. We will be back with another video very, very soon. So until then, Arrivederci.